Wesley Ward's got Nakatomi in the Commonwealth. Uh, the one prep up in New York, how did that set him up for the spot? Well, that's exactly what it was. We went into that. I talked it over with Fergus Calvin, um, and I said, you know, I, I, I've never won the Commonwealth, and I, that's just a, it's a race that I've always looked to hopefully win if I had the right horse, and, and hopefully a horse like this with three for three undefeated on the track, he can he can keep his record, you know, maintain his record. There is. How about the seven furlongs? I think that he's a seven furlong type of horse. Um, you know, we, that's why we, our plan going into the race was to take him back in Aqueduct and let him settle and come with the run, and he did. You know, he just fell short and he got beat on the squares with no issues or, or no no uh, excuses. But, you know, this being his home track, I think that race set him up great for the And arrest me, Red, in the Shaker Town, uh, how close to 100% is he for this start off the layoff? Oh, he's ready. He's certainly ready. He's many, many works. Julio Garcia has been on him and on a lot of his works over at Turfway. Um, it's just a question of if he does or does not like this this surface here at, at Keeneland. A lot of my really, really good sprinters, for whatever reason or not, they don't perform well on this turf course, and then, you know, and then they'll come right back and they'll fire big the next time. It takes a special kind of horse to, to like Keeneland, and that's what you know the only question mark is. But other than that, he's ready to go. What about handling that outside post? I think that if, if I was to pick a post for him, that would be it. Really? Outside, this way, because he's got enough speed, he's very quick, and if somebody goes, which more likely than not they will in the in a five and a half foot long uh, grade two race like this, then Joel will be patient and let them go and he'll, he'll be uninhibited up front. Got the first win of the meet with uh, Bledsoe, named for Drew yeah. Bledsoe, right? Yeah, for Drew Bledsoe, yeah, he's uh, from a town, Walla Walla, just down the street from mine in uh, Yakima. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of great and I drink his wine and that's one of the reasons why uh, why I um, named it. I called out there yesterday to let the winery know that, to let him know it was in, so I hope he was watching. Did you expect him to run bigs? I expected him to win, I really did. I've been very high on this horse ever since we started breezing and he just showed, you know, he was different class than a lot of the others that I put him with. So, uh, But when you get in a race, especially inside draw like that, you never know. And he got kind of shuffled back the first part, so that was kind of, had me on edge, but he came through and, and showed really what he was. Lastly, how are the two-year-olds set up for this meet? Good. I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy with them. I've got a, you know, a few homebreds, including him and, and another affiliate that I run here on Wednesday, um, that are very quick and fast. But I got some really, really good ones to come out here late in the meet.